Hot Peoples, hope you guys are doing great and good morning from sunny Dead Horse, Alaska. We're on just about the very top of the state, close to the oil fields. Uh, I had an emergency service call rolled in last night uh, from Nuixit. The school in Nuixit, one of their boilers went down. So hopefully, um, it's a quick 24 hour trip unless we get weathered in here and you guys know how that is. But hopefully I can get this fixed here. I'm bringing a boiler tech with me and uh, we'll see if we can get it, uh, see if we can get their heat back on. Um, uh, Nuixit is a population of roughly four or 500. So it's like a booming metropolis compared to a lot of the villages that I've taken you to uh, recently. So anyway, I need to go stop by the store there and get some food because I didn't bring a lot of food, didn't bring a lot of supplies, but we'll see if we can get this done in 24 hours. All right, let's hop on the plane to New Exit. We made it. It's a little windy. It's almost winter here. Okay, duplex head. The oil head is clean. I mean, this isn't covered with soot. Good documentary. Don't look like that at all. Here we go. Come on, baby, come on. I'll see you play another cycle. All right, we are still struggling trying to get this boiler going, but we're gonna take a quick break for dinner. So I'm gonna probably go over to the store. Maybe I can show you guys some prices and kind of what it's looking like. I don't know if I have time to do like a full shopping video where we, you know, like we, you know, shop for like a family and give them away just because we've still got a lot to do here tonight and we've got to get this heat going. So. We got the boiler up and running, hallelujah praise. So heat is going and the backup heat is going. So that was a success. We're here at the store and actually, uh, I want to get something to eat, but let me, let me show you what the prices are looking like. Prices are a little rowdy here, probably uh, some of the more expensive that I've seen uh, in a lot of the remote villages. But just like the other villages, everything has to be flown here, but this place is a little bit different because about three months out of the year, uh, they have a usable ice road that they're able to truck stuff in and hopefully they can bump up on supply. Like right now there's no milk, like you can't get milk. Um, and even their powder milk, which is more shelf stable and a little more popular here, uh, they are out of that too. Uh, it's a little hit and miss, of course, in these places, but the ice road thing is interesting. But uh, okay, I'll show you a few more prices. I got a cart. I think I'm gonna do some shopping here real quick. I'll fill this cart up, see if you guys can guess how much we spent here in New Exit. Uh, and then see if we can give away to a family. I don't know, I have just enough time, I think, before I get in the plane. So, fingers crossed, let's get going.
sitting here with Camille. You're the manager here at AC. Yep, store, right? I am the branch manager for New Wix at AC. That is awesome. So I'm doing some shopping for a family. Just gonna randomly give it away. Oh. What are, What are some of the, like popular items that people tend to buy here? So um, I can tell you right now, my two most popular sellers is Marlboro Hundreds and Dr Pepper. And, oh, and Dr Pepper. Okay. <laughs> Dr Pepper half racks. Do Do um, we have Dr Pepper in stock? Oh yeah, we sure do. We okay. sure do. I've got a Pepsi, so let me swap that out for a Dr Pepper. Oh, okay, Pepsi is also pretty popular though. Yeah, oh, it our is. half racks. Yeah, people love soda. People love their smokes. Um, milk, our shelf stable milk is really popular. And she just went to the back and got some for me. So we just you had two hiding back there. What you got like like the secret club to get milk here? Is that how it works? <laughs> we uh, actually just got our uh, truck in on the ice road, so oh. a lot of our product is back there right now. We're currently working it out right now. We're making pretty good progress. And, so. and I was telling the ice roads open for what about three months or so out of the year? Yeah, it's normally open closer towards January, at least in my experience, but okay. they did open a lot later this year. So we should have it from February to April if we're lucky. And make prices change at all when you have it or just kind of changes more uh, like what you can actually put in the shelf really? You know, I, I would say that I do notice price decreases during the ice road season. They don't okay. necessarily make announcements like, oh, hey, like it's gonna yeah, be cheaper. Come on in, we have an ice road sale. <laughs> yeah, but I do notice every ice road, the prices do go down a little bit. And that's okay. mainly because we don't have to spend nearly as much money on shipping uh, right. through like rights air and right yeah wow. yeah it's usually all air freighted in but you know yeah. we make do throughout the year do you know what it cost air freight groceries in in bulk like this like per pound or um i don't get to see the costs exactly but okay. we do get trucked up from anchorage about twenty thousand pounds oh, is wow. what we got on the last one so. okay so, yeah i've noticed here like in a lot of the other villages that i've gone to a lot of the heavier things are the expensive things right like your water oh, yeah heavy like our water and, that's the yeah, yeah that's the main reason for the prices up here is because of the price that we have to spend on shipping so a yeah. lot of the cost is in shipping hey well i appreciate you helping me out so uh you said that the pilot bread crackers are also popular here? Oh yeah, oh yeah. But, but you guys are all sold seller. out of those. You know, we might have some in the back. They okay. might just be a little buried under one of the pallets. Oh, the best thing is the uh, saltines? Oh yeah, okay. oh yeah. People love their crackers. Right. Soup well, is very popular out here. And saltines are how much? 519? Oh no, no those go oh. in the other aisle. I just oh, brought um, them okay. up here for you. How much are those? Do you know? Here, I can show you. 1069. All right, we'll take two. Why not? Here you go. If you said these are popular. Oh yeah, they sure are. All right, milk 519 for each one of these little quarts. So, okay, this is like gold here, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, Especially very good. Right now. <laughs> well, I appreciate your help. Thank you of so course, much. No problem. Let me know if you need anything else. So, I just found out that Camille here uh, came from California. Yep, yep. Like, California to New Wixit. Uh, how do you like it here compared to California? I love it here. I would never go back to California. I mean, I don't have any like negativity with California, but just, you know, the relationships I've built up in Alaska and just the whole lifestyle itself, it's so different from anything we've ever been a part of. So what do you like most about living here? I guess definitely the people and the sense of community that I found up here, you know, okay. in California, it's very, um, like I do have a lot of family out there that I do yep. love and care about, but up here, you know, people have been so welcoming and they have treated, uh, cause I also moved up here with my boyfriend, Carlos, they've treated both of us with such love and such respect. There are people that we've met out here that are like family to us now. Wow, and you just moved here to the community and you're basically just adopted you essentially. Yeah, yeah, that's what it feels like. That's what wow. it is. But every day I'm learning more and more. It's really helped us to become like adults in a way that I never really felt in California. Oh, interesting. So yeah, yeah, I've learned a lot up here. I've learned a lot up here. I definitely feel a lot more like self-sufficient since moving to New Exit, you know, a lot stronger. Awesome being around such a community of strong people and kind of just getting to learn off of that and feel yeah. that strength. Someone decides to move to Alaska or maybe New Exit specifically, do you have any recommendations at all? Dress warm. Dress, Dress warm. very warm. Uh, just get ready for the winters. You know, we do get negative 40 winters. Um, get ready for blizzards. Get ready for and get ready for the cold. Just FYI, these guys have that temperature plus wind. So the wind chill is through the roof, right? So oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes the wind chill is like negative 70, negative 80 wind chill. I've seen a lot of doors that are just permanently blocked with snow that are halfway up the side of the building. So. Yeah, yeah. But Pretty NSB cool. usually does a really good job of helping the community clear that up. So. And no matter how extreme, to you, this is home now. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Awesome. No looking back. <laughs> okay, here you go. Take a guess how much we spent on the small cart of groceries in New Exit. Pardon me, young lady. I've got a cart of groceries for you already paid for. Thank you. Would you like them? 
Sure. Okay, very good. We just, I was just telling them that I was going to give this away to the next person that walked in the store, and you were here. Are you too? Yeah, we're doing, we just, we videoed a shopping video here, so we always give the groceries away, so whoever walked in next, and that's you. So this is a, if you can use the groceries, they are all yours, and they're already paid for. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Take my day, man. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you, I, you did all that work getting that cart, but I've already got all this stuff sort of done, but you. you might check and make sure it's stuff you like, but yeah. there you go. All right, Lord bless you. All right, had to run the plane. It's coming way earlier than I thought. So, did you guess? What was the final? That tiny little cart of groceries was $281.78. No tax here. But that is crazy for that small amount of groceries. The lady was super nice. She talked to me afterward. Nice people, nice community. And uh, yeah, it's been great. And a big thank you to you guys. You know, when we spend money on stuff like this, it's because you guys took the time to support us watching our videos or uh, or supporting Alaska Apparel, all that stuff goes into account and lets us do fun things like this. So you guys are the star. You guys are amazing. And with that, I'll probably close the video here. Hop on a plane and we'll see you guys in the next video. We can build it all up again. We can leave with the Lord and train. I could try to get over you, but I will never love again. Hey, we can build it all up again. We can dance in the summer rain. I know we can find it and keep it back home again I said hey you found me like a fiction but I'm ready to see we're both